Okay guys, so now that my llama has dried, you can see it is white, it's hard. I am going to apply color. So I'm gonna use crayons and I'm gonna use watercolors. So I'm going to very lightly color on top of my llama. And I'm gonna do a resist. So as you can tell, like it's not going, like the crown's not really coloring it that great. Just kind of giving it some texture. Giving it kind of that look of hair. I could also do the sides if I want to. Just want to be careful that I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want to break it. Okay. Um, and then you can build up as many layers as you want. You can really see like when I'm pressing a little bit harder, those lines are really starting to show. Then for my llama's face, I'm just going to do the same thing, color lightly, nose, and then for their ears, I'm going to do a little light pink. And then I want to do the nose, maybe a little light pink. And then the eyes are hard to see, so I'm going to go over my eyes with purple, but you can do whatever color you want. I'm just adding some different colors on here. I'm going to do that eyebrow purple, the eyelashes purple, maybe my nose purple because I like the color purple, the mouth. So I'm just building up some color. When you are done building up with your crowns, you are going to use watercolors. So when you get your watercolors, remember we want to get them wet, so you should have watercolors at home. I'm going to get my brush wet and then I'm going to just lightly swirl on top. Now I'm going to paint on top of this guy. So as you can see, it's taking it pretty well, but because this is salt dough and we made this out of dough, if you notice, like it's really not spreading that far. And the reason why it's not spreading that far is because the dough is like soaking in the water. So instead of adding more color, I am adding just water because I kind of want to give it like a look like it has a mane. So I'm just taking my brush, I'm dipping it into that dark black, and then I'm just kind of bringing it back into the lighter part. So I'm just going to keep doing that, kind of giving it that ombre effect. I'm going to get the sides. And then, like I said, you don't want to get too wet because, I mean, like right now I'm feeling it and you can see it's sticky. The salt is kind of reactivating. Okay, when I'm done painting it, I want to do the sides as well. I'm going to take it and I'm going to get my brush really wet to get, and I'm going to swirl and knock off all that extra salt that might be on there. Come up the side and knock the water off and put that back in my watercolor palette. That is the end of step one. Make sure you get your ears. I kind of missed mine.